Hey guys, thanks so much for stopping by. So today I'm going to do a book review and this is entitled Filthy Beautiful Forever written by Kendall Ryan. This is the book number four from the Filthy Beautiful Lies series. Um, if you're new to my book review videos, what I typically do is give you information from goodreads.com and then we go from there. So it says here full length can be read as a standalone steamy romance. One seemingly in, in innocuous promise, the one girl he could never forget. Colin Strake exercised control over all facets of his life, from his business to satisfying his physical needs. It happens on his command. So when a woman shows up at his door and reminds him of a promise they made each other when they were just 10 years old, it shouldn't have the ability to rock his entire world. Yet it does. Because Mia Monroe wasn't just his childhood best friend, she wasn't just the girl he lost his virginity to and hasn't, see, hasn't seen sin, she's the one exception to his perfect control and piece by piece she's about to tear apart his carefully played, oh, sorry, I'm dyslexic, carefully laid, 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 laid plans. I can't believe I said that three times in a row. All right, moving on. Um, published back in January 12, 2015, Genesis Belong to Me Romance, Contemporary Romance, Erotica. Yes, I would say, I would agree with that. And New Adult. Okay, so we have already, if you haven't read the other books from this series, please do. Um, and again, it is a standalone, but I, I feel like there are bits and pieces of this book that will probably be kind of... Um, uh, uh, oh my gosh, I'm lost for words, would be a spoiler because there's certain details that would um, give you information on the previous book. So I will always recommend go from the first book to the last book and not the other way around. So uh, this was super cute. I don't think it was supposed to be super cute, but there were a lot of, um, a lot of parts in here that I believe were super cute. Yes, the erotica is there. However, there, it wasn't really like a fluffed kind of book. The details were really good. I did enjoy reading this book. Um, there were there were some parts that it just it kind of felt a little stretch for me, but it worked. So it's not so bad. Um, this wasn't my favorite out of the series. You need to watch my other videos to figure out which one my favorite is. But this wasn't, this was definitely a decent read as well. Um, from reading the previous three books, Collins was definitely kind of in the back burner. I mean, you, you get his character a little bit at a time, a little glimpse here and there. However, this, because this is really about him, the spotlights, him and Mia, you do get to know him very intimately <laughs> so um i would just i'm just gonna rate this i feel like the description is very vague and i feel like if anything else i might say might definitely be a spoiler because it's just not out there you know and i i don't want to be the person that's like giving out the spoilers and I don't like that because I don't like listening to spoilers. I don't like reading spoilers. I just don't like that. So um, I don't want to be that at all. Um, rating this between 1 to 10 stars, 10 being the highest, I would give this an 8. It was very enjoyable. I enjoyed this book. Um, I'd give this a 2 thumbs up. Um, if, you are, if you are interested, the, the kind of romance this is with erotica romance, um, it, can be, it can be graphic. So just so you know, if that doesn't bother you or if it does bother you or if you're into that, this is what the book has. Um, and don't forget though, if you guys have a suggestions, uh, suggestions, sorry about that. If you guys have suggestions or questions or comments or you want to chit chat, let me know down below. I love hearing from you guys all the time. Thank you so much and I'll see you guys again next time. Bye. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please uh, hit the like button, subscribe button, and the bell so you'll be notified whenever I do upload a new video. Don't forget to expand the description box because as much as possible, I always try to get coupons for you guys, discount codes, and other goodies uh, like that. Um, I also have my Twitter information, Instagram, Snapchat, and for business inquiries, I have my email there as well. Thank you guys, and I'll see you again next time.
Bye.